Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Guess what? I graduated! So exciting, I finally have my BFA in fashion design and I have my minor in art history. Your girl is bonafide. After graduation, I decided to take the summer off so I could like regather my brain because that was crazy. And I really got into gardening. I am no professional gardener by any means, but I found some things that I think that you guys might like and I wanted to share them with you. And I also wanted to share with you my fall gardening thing that I got going on outside because I'm pretty proud of it and I freaking love it. So first things first, let's talk plant saucers. These things look like garbage and they're really expensive. No, 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 no. And the terracotta ones that match this actually wick moisture out onto your floor. So if you have it on like a wood floor, bye-bye wood floor. Solution? Get yourself to the thrift store, a yard sale, Habitat Restore, and pick up some things like this. This is a bowl I got for $1. This is maybe an ashtray I got for $1. These things, don't know what they are, $1 a piece. I'm a big fan of using plates, especially ones that have like a little like, well. And I'm also a big fan of using like kind of pretty plates that are normal, but 50 cents. You tell me. 50 cents for this, or like $6 for this. No, winner, winner. Found another one. You can use like a, like a candle stand, 50 cents. Let's talk these things, 50 cents a piece, not a saucer, but a little planter. Spray these bad boys up with your favorite spray paint. Bada bang, you got a new planter set. Cute pail, 50 cents. Money tree that fell over and now is really unbalanced. Kind of boring base, bada bang. Cute, and it matches my sweater. Next, let's talk spray bottles. From the dollar store, great for cleaning products. From Wish, great for cutie counter thingy. And then there's this, also from the dollar store. She's functional, she's cute, I get you a girl that can do both. So if you live in an apartment or a dorm or someplace where you can't really keep a lot of house plants, or if you tend to kill a lot of house plants like I used to, get yourself some air plants. These are pretty low maintenance and they're cute as a freaking button. I found this in Wilmington, North Carolina at a craft fair. You could make it yourself though, so easy. And this one, I just put in a little tiny bucket that I think I found at a yard sale for like 25 cents. These are literally the easiest plant to take care of. This one actually has a magnet on the back so you can stick it on your fridge. But literally just once or twice a week, put it in a semi-sunny area, bada bing. You got yourself a plant. Now, ouch. This is a bulb auger. You put it into the end of your screwdriver, your drill thing, and it vroom, digs a hole in the ground so you can plant your bulbs. Have I ever planted bulbs? No. Am I gonna do it this year and see if I have any success for them next year? Yes. This I got off Amazon, this is leaf shine. If you happen to have like a fiddle leaf fig tree or some sort of tree that has like kind of waxy leaves, this gives them like a little zhuzh of life, you know? Revive the dusty old plant. This is to get rid of all the caterpillars that are eating your cabbages. Like mine. You can also get creative with what you use as flower vases. This is a teapot that I got from Walmart. It rusted in the inside, so I don't use it as a teapot anymore, but it makes for a really pretty flower vase. Side note, why does Target always have the cutest little decorations in that like dollar section? I don't get it. While we're on the topic of cute Target home decor, Target, 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 look at that. Isn't that the cutest little cornhole game you've ever seen in your life? Let's venture into this dining room. This is a gardenia and they like to stay moist so you can take your little spray bottle. This is better than the little tiny pump ones I got from Wish and just give these a little mist. They like to be taken care of. Same with the ferns. Go in, kind of lift these up, spray in there, pretend you're a hairdresser, give her a little zhuzh, and she'll be happy. This is pretty low maintenance. I think it's a philodendron. It's doing pretty good. More ferns. That one's not doing so good. I think that what happened with this one is it's getting too wet. Like the, the soil is too wet. So I need to change out the soil to like a moisture control. Another gardenia and another fern. And what you can do around plants that like it to be a little bit more humid is get a humidifier. I found this one at Habitat for five bucks and 
They seem to be pretty happy. This is a fiddle leaf fig tree. I sprayed the leaf shine on this a couple days ago and look at how shiny and waxy those leaves look. They're looking pretty good. There's a little bit of leaf scorching happening, but it's because it's right in front of this big window. And another fern. Just lift these up, give them a nice little zhuzh, little spray, and then they will be happy. If you do have a carpet floor, you probably wanna not do this. These I'm pretty sure are called coleus. I brought these in, I'm gonna try to overwinter them inside, but uh, we'll see how that goes. It's raining outside, but I just wanted to show you real quick. These are begonias, and if you didn't know, you can let these sit outside until the first frost, and then you can save the tubers and plant them next year. So you don't have to spend, you know, 15, 20 bucks at Home Depot, and then just let them die. You can, all, you can save the tubers. I have a little evergreen potted and some cabbage. I am gonna try to save some of this creeping Jenny. They're supposed to be hardy, but I'm gonna just bring a little bit inside. And I don't know what these are. The tops died, so I cut them back and now all these little tiny things are sprouting. So I decided to save them and see what happens. One of my favorite things to do is to plant in old wine boxes. I have some there. And I have some cabbage in here too in a Farniente box. If you can get your hands on an old wheelbarrow, you can drill some holes in the bottom and plant in it. It is so cute. You can put some staples in there that'll last all season and then you can just change out the little annuals. Like these are pansies. I had some super tunias in there and now I have some cabbages. More cabbages and more cabbages. Um, also in wine boxes. Over here by the fence, I found this galvanized bucket, I think at a yard sale for five bucks and drilled some holes in the bottom and planted some kales and cabbages. And now this is the cabbage over here that has, ah, there's one, no. These are gladiolus corms that I'm trying to save for next year. So this is the old corm. This is two new ones that has produced. So you're supposed to save like four inches of the stalk so the, the corm can like gather up all the energy, but right now I am trying to cure these, just dry them out so then I can store them for next year. But these little guys, I think you're just supposed to keep them on there. I don't know if I'm doing any of this right. And these two are dahlias. This one I pulled up prematurely. Uh, you're supposed to let them frost and then cut them at the base and then kind of do the same thing and cure them. So we'll see. One premature, one we're gonna wait for the frost to happen. So I hope you guys got some inspiration out of this or learned a little bit of something. Um, I gotta bring this guy in or he's gonna freeze tonight. Let me know if you guys like this little video on my favorite gardening stuff right now. I guess a little mini garden tour. Uh, that's what I've been up to. Now I gotta go apply for like real design jobs. Wish me luck.